so hello everybody, I hope you're well. This is Tanya and welcome to my October Makes video. This month I was quite busy because university started again and I had to do a lot of work for that. Um, I didn't manage to make all the things I had planned and maybe I had planned a little bit too much anyway, but I managed to create two garments. It's been getting really cold here so they both have to do with staying warm. The first one is this cozy warm fleece coat. <laughs> this wasn't planned but I was feeling so cold at the beginning of last month so um, I went to my local fabric shop and I found this awesome uh, black fleece fabric uh, for just um, 9 euro per meter and um, this gorgeous red jersey, which I use this lining, um, for around 3 euro per meter. So, um, yeah, I absolutely had to make this. And now I have this cozy warm fleece coat, which I basically wear all the time when I'm at home. And it keeps me really, really warm. So, just a few words on how I created this. I didn't use a pattern. I um, cut a rectangle with one side the length from my shoulder to where the coat should end and the other side my hip circumference plus 30 centimeters which it should overlap at the front. Then I draped that rectangle onto my mannequin, then I took it in at the waist to give it a more fitted look and on the shoulders to make this part a little lower than this one and then I cut armholes. And I did the same thing with the lining. Then I pinned everything together, um, sewed it together and attached the knob at my waist to close it. So this might sound complicated now, but um, if you're doing it, it's actually very easy. And yeah, it was a quite um, fast and easy make for me. On to my next make. So, if you saw my last fabric haul video, you might remember that I showed you a grey knitted fabric and a fur fabric at the beginning and I told you I'd plan to make a coat out of that with, um, or actually more a cape than a coat, uh, with a fur trim and I did exactly that. So, this is the coat. I designed everything myself, uh, so there's no pattern involved here. I'm so happy with this coat. Even if I changed plans little during the process of creating it. For example, I decided against using buttons or buttonholes to close it and instead um, created uh, these cords in the front to tie it close. And neither the black edge nor the ombre painting was planned, but the result is gorgeous and I love it, it keeps me warm, and I guess you sometimes have to be a little flexible with your makes. So that's all for today. <laughs> We're already at the end. I'm surprised. This was quite a short video. I hope I'll be more productive next month and I hope I get some of the things I had planned actually done that month. For example, the blue sweater. I really need to make that sweater because um, I need something like this in my wardrobe. I don't have many um, warm things. And if there's anything you'd like to know me about this video or my makes or whatever, leave a comment. Um, it's always fun to answer those and I, I really like um, getting in touch with so many other sewers. This is the reason why um, I started this whole YouTube channel thing, um, because I don't know many people who sew. I've got a few friends who think it's cool to make your own clothes and they're all about yeah. If I had enough time, I would learn that and I would maybe so too, but I don't have time. So there's nobody in my life I can really talk to about patterns and sewing your own clothes and yeah, nobody who's really into it. So since I discovered this sewing community here on YouTube, I wanted to be a part of it. It's been about two months now since my first video and I've been enjoying every second of being part of this. That's all for today. I guess I'll see you soon. Until then, stay well.